Hey, it's me, Kathy. Um, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos, you may have seen it or not, but uh, Santa Claus brought me an air fryer for Christmas, and I am not well-versed in the air fryer, so I think it's time to play. So today, we're going to make some air fryer chicken thighs with potatoes and carrots all done in the air fryer, and let's see how it goes. I've made a little rub for our chicken. It is made out of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, cumin, and smoked paprika. And we're going to rub our chicken with it. Before we do that, we're going to spread them a little olive oil. And because I want to use my hands to put on the rub, I'm going to brush them, brush this on with a brush so it keeps my hands clean. We're gonna do the other side next, so. And then we're gonna take, rub, rub, rub. And. I think I used the brush to spread that around too. So I don't have to touch it. All right, and now we're gonna do the other side and then we're gonna do the rest. Okay, both sides are well seasoned. And with this chicken thighs, we are going to cook some potatoes and carrots along with it. And this is how we're going to do it. Okay, this is one russet potato and about a half a carrot cut into wedges. And we're going to use a little olive oil on these as well. And we're going to season these ones with salt. And pepper. And a little sprinkle of dried basil. That's enough. And a little bit of sprinkle of dried oregano. And that is enough. And let's toss them together and coat them with oil and herbs. And, simply enough, we are ready to go. This is the basket of my air fryer on one side. That one's got a big flap of skin. And there you. And now, now, the kind of air fryer that I have preheats itself. You just turn it on and it takes a few minutes to warm up and then it starts timing itself. So we're going to throw these into the air fryer and here is the air fryer. Let's see if we can tip it up a little bit. That's the one and slide that basket in and we're going to set the temperature to 400 degrees for 10 minutes, this starts at 15. So we're gonna bring it down to 10, and then we're gonna turn it on, and then we're gonna continue. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And I'm gonna take a temperature of one of these and see how much longer we have to cook it. So it's cooked all through the inside, but the outside looks fabulous. So we're just gonna stick our thermometer in here and, okay, 128. So we're going to turn these guys over and burn up that top skin. And at this time, we're going to add in our potatoes and our carrots. Make as much space as we can. And we're going back in for another, I'm gonna do about eight minutes on this and see where we stand. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna temp the chicken. I may have... The skin is so crisp, it's crazy.
Okay, they are not done. We should have gone for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna flip these vegetables around a little bit. And we're going in for another mm, four minutes. And let's see how we do. Actually, let's just do it with me. Let's move this up so you can see the, press that. 400, five minutes, and boom. We'll see how they come out. Really, check that out. So beautiferous. And we're going in with the thermometer. And we overcooked them. <laughs> 171. And let's see how our potatoes and carrots are faring. All right, the potatoes and carrots need a little more time. Potatoes are getting there, carrots not so much. So we're gonna take the chicken out and transfer them to a plate and wait till the veggies are done. And we're gonna drop them as we're trying to pick them up. Whoa, don't rip the skin off. Nope, nope, nope. I think these veggies will cook a little better if they're spread out anyway. So we're gonna go three more minutes on the veggies. And they look nice. They're crispy and brown and not burnt. And we're gonna just flip them over to the white, the whitest, whitest side they have. So they won't be burnt. And we're going back in for another three minutes. It's potato and carrot time. Let's give them a poke and see if they're done. They're sizzly and beautiful. And done. So now we're going to plate these bad boys and show them off. And then we're going to eat dinner. Okay, there's our beautiful plate. Roasted potatoes, well, air fried potatoes, but they look like roasted potatoes and they taste like roasted potatoes. And look at that juice pouring out of that chicken. It's juicy on the inside. I'm going to show you the other piece that I cut open to see if it was juicy inside. And it is very juicy. So crispy on the outside and mad juicy on the inside. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit and see if we can get a little picture of it. There it goes, dripping on the other stuff. Okay. Thank you for joining me for our first air fryer experiment. I have used it a couple of times, but mostly just to reheat things. And I have a few more ideas that I wanna try. So stay tuned. Oh, and you know what? We just did dinner in you know, 25 minutes, a whole dinner, all cooked all together in 25 minutes. And, you know, that's pretty amazing. And so the air fryer is a magical tool.